another true story around uh, the formation of Westlife was the fact that, yes, you did have Simon Cowell very interested. And I remember you calling me going, he's in, he's in. I think he's in, I think he's in. But he took umbrage to one of of the boys. I think it was Kian, wasn't it? And he said he's got to go. No, Shane. Shane. Shane, Shane, right? He came to Dublin. I had six guys originally and three. So he told me, he said, darling, they're okay. You need to change four of them. Change four of them and I'll come back and look at them. I changed three of them. I couldn't change four of them because they were all like friends. And like that. So I got rid of the three that I thought didn't have it. And he, I said, Shane, he didn't like you. So I said, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to change your look. So we did. We dyed his hair blonde. Seriously, I had auditions. I found Mark. No, I found Nicky and remember Brian McFadden? He was in yes. Westland. I found Brian McFadden. And so Simon came back in. There were only three minutes in, in, into the set. He said, I'm signing them. This is amazing. I love them. Blah, blah, blah. We signed them. We had hits. And a few weeks later, he said to me, where did you find the little blonde guy? He's really great. I said, Simon, that's Shane who you said no to. You know, he says, no. I said, it's Shane. He dyed his hair blonde. You didn't know. You were wrong. So we laughed. He wasn't always right, but he was brilliant to work with. 